Oh, they had lots of girlfriends. I didn't have a list that is too I, long. He had. I had a social life. Year, I didn't have an extreme four girls social life. Invited him to proms. He was. He had a tuxedo on during May and June all the time. Yeah. You know. Every weekend. Five siblings, and I was the eldest and therefore responsible <laughs> for helping the others uh, grow up uh, on the straight and narrow. Uh, we lived out in the country, about 10 minutes from town, and that isolated us a little bit from a lot of things that went on among a lot of our peers as we grew up. And our father uh, was really dedicated to the family. His favorite activity was to be with his children. And I think that was that was huge for us because we knew that our father loved us and would do anything for us. I remember one Lent him getting up for morning mass, and I asked him, "Dad, why are you going to church during the week? I mean, you don't have to." And I remember him looking into my eyes and saying, "Because I can't do it without him." The faith was important, and and. and they had to pass on the gift that they had received. And the most important responsibility they had as parents, that God, at the end of their life, would ask them, did you pass on the faith to the children I lent you? And so that was a priority. We were normal. We loved sports. We appreciated social life. We Don't normal. think that we went around in albs and all that. No. With incense. No. He never incensed me. <laughs> well, you didn't deserve it. <laughs> surprised our friends when we went in. It was like, wait a minute. In all our lives, it comes a moment when you just feel, not something you can uh, put your hand on, but just the feeling inside that the Lord is calling you. And that was the big question, well, how do you know? How can you be sure that he's really calling you? Has he sent you a telegram? Do you have like proof that you can put your hand on? And that doesn't come. But there's a there's a inkling inside that the best thing you can do with your life is to help others know our Lord Jesus Christ uh, and help bring about the eternal salvation of many souls. I went down to visit my brother and half of it was trying to understand why in the world anyone would want to be a priest. And I just remember going back and, and being at a party and saying, wow, these men are giving their whole entire lives to Jesus Christ to save souls. And it doesn't matter what the price is. They're doing such, you know, so worthwhile. And I went on and on. And my girlfriend looked at me and she says, well, John, if you think it's so worthwhile, why don't you become a priest? At which everybody laughed. On the way home, I couldn't get out of my head that phrase, why not become a priest? I don't think I wanted the vocation because of the sacrifices. And, uh, and there was a young lady who, yes, yeah, it's true, that um, I was much more fond of than I even realized when I said goodbye to her. She supported me when I said, I really feel like I need to check out this vocation before I take any other steps after college. And she said, well, yes, you have to find out first what God wants. And, and, and I was almost like, I kind of hoped that she would give me a little bit of fight on it, and um, so that was that was God working in very mysterious ways. The three of us were ordained by the Holy Father, January third, nineteen ninety-one, and having that at St. Peter's meant so much to us. Um, my parents saw it as they'd always given their kids right from the birth. And my sister being in the middle of the two older brothers and two younger brothers put up with us. And she now is uh, a sister. Parents have had pain of seeing their kids go, but they, uh, they focus on the hundredfold that they've received. And they're the first ones to say, we have received more than we could ever imagine. It was 
always trying to catch up to his older brothers. This is something documented, and uh, I would say it was only when he entered the Legion before his Did I older... surpassed all of you? <laughs> his older brother <laughs> that he finally felt he had accomplished that. So this is a very important aspect of our vocation. Right. He still dreams a lot. Of